Uh, ben Smith here again. I've got uh, Jean Head with me. Uh, would you like to, to say a little something to the listeners here, Jean, the viewers, about who you are and what you've been doing the last, I don't know, 45, 50 years or so? I've been fighting to save unborn children and mothers from the horror of abortion and from being letting it be promoted throughout the world through the UN. Unfortunately, there are those who want to make abortion a fundamental human right worldwide. They've been trying to do that intentionally since the Cairo Conference on Population and Development. In yeah, well, Jean, let me just cut in a bit. Now, when did you first get involved with all this stuff? In 1970. I believe just for a short time, till they got someone better or something like that. Well, I, I, I thought I thought it'd be over in four or five years. Oh, yeah, it's been a bit involved, longer. I got involved because New York State passed a law that allowed abortion on demand through 24 weeks of gestation mm -hmm. uh, with one vote. The yeah. Assemblyman changed one vote at that time. And I've always thought that if I had just gone to Albany, I might have prevented that from happening. Yeah. I had never done any lobbying and mm -hmm. been lobbying ever since. You've been getting into people's ears for a long time, as far oh, as yes. I can tell. Ever since, yes. Ever I've been, since. been going to Albany, I've been yeah. going to the UN, I've been going to the Congress of the United yeah. States. When did you start coming to the UN? When I, was that? I started coming to the UN in 1987, when International yeah. Rights Life became, uh, got NGO status, yeah. non-governmental status. Yeah. Got and accredited. Got accredited, yeah. and I've been doing it ever since. And you started off at the Cairo Prep Con, just the, before the, I got involved. The Cairo, that was 1994. Yeah. But before that, I was involved at a fringe level. But non-governmental organizations were not that powerful until Bella Abzug, who was ah. a former congressman from New York, got involved. And you she, know, I found out from Abraham the other day that there's a little street named after Bella Abzug. I suppose. Down in Greenwich Village. She only was a one-term co term congresswoman. But, yeah, <laughs> but she caused a lot of trouble. She caused a lot of trouble, unfortunately. Didn't she want an all-female Senate or something? Mm, no, I never heard that. Oh, I read something that. about that. But she was very active. She yeah. used to, f we had these huge conference rooms, and she, in, during the Cairo PrepCom, she used to fill the room with her followers. Yeah. Women's Caucus, I remember that. And she threw, th th threw Jan Zeidler out. Yeah, well, he wasn't he a woman, was he? Yeah, he threw them in. <laughs> he wouldn't let us in. <laughs> so we much were, about equality for we, men. We were only, I guess, Nash, International Right to Life was the first blatantly pro-life NGO yeah, that yep. was here. Yep. And now how many do we have? Oh, there's dozens and dozens. I mean, a lot of them never but come, though. But we're still fighting. Yeah. to keep abortion out. They, you cannot, they have not been able to claim that abortion is a fundamental human well, right worldwide, although they do it. They some people claim it, but there's no basis. They claim it, but there's no, no basis. basis in any UN document, any no. UN negotiated document. People like the UNFPA, International Planned Parenthood, try to say that's true, but yeah. it is not true. No. But we've been trying to get uh, language in that says that Maternal health care does not include abortion. And safe outcome for mother and child. Yeah, that's what we tried to get. Yeah. They talk, I mean, I feel so sorry for the women from the developing world yeah, yeah. because they're still dying. Yep, and thousands. Our, the proponents of abortion claim they'll save lives if they have abortion. That's not no. true. Legal abortion won't do We that. have had legal abortion in New York State since 1970. Yeah. And the maternal mortality rate is, has increased yeah. since abortion was made legal. Yeah. What women need is good health care, and the UN, with all their documents, are not providing good health care for the women of the developing world. Yeah. They don't have emergency obstetric care. They don't have good prenatal care. They don't have uh, blood. If they have a hemorrhage, one of the main causes of yeah. maternal death is hemorrhage, and they don't have blood provided. They don't have a way of getting it. They don't have a way to get to emergency care. Uh -huh. uh, they are being left out in the cold with all the money that they provide yeah. for so-called reproductive health. Yeah. It's interesting to note that I worked for 44 years in the delivery room 
and I and I took care of women also uh, GYN. I never used the term reproductive health. No. Reproductive health was a term coined for Planned Parenthood to, to hide their abortion connection. Yeah. So really, really, you and FBI and the UN just wants women to have fewer children. That's just a big it's, it's, population control ploy. It's population control on the we part of the Western world, mm -hmm. and the developing world, unfortunately, is looking for development funds. Yeah. And so they get pressured into going along with some of this language, and they really don't want to. Yeah. So it's business as usual here at the UN, isn't it? It's just the same old stuff. It's just scary. I was just yeah. going over the present documents that are negotiating yeah. now. Mm -hmm. It's ludicrous. Yeah. It's ludicrous. Uh -huh. yep. They want reproductive rights. Reproduct that means it's a cold word because it's become a cold word for abortion. Yeah. But uh, the document that came these the, out of these meetings for, when I first started was one page, two sides. Uh -huh. yeah. Now it's about 50 pages, yeah. is it? Yeah. Something yeah. like that. It's nuts. There you go. Well, thank you very much, Jean. You're welcome. And we'll be putting this up on the, up on the internet soon. God bless you. Oh, oh dear. <laughs>